to complete the media orientation for English 9, you're going to have to start by pulling up the course for the Hammond High School student resources. Um, you can find that under your courses tab or it can be on your dashboard. From here, what you're going to do is scroll down until you see the button that says stream, download, and learn. Click on that link. And what that will do is it will take you to a couple different links. We're going to use the one for media lessons. So we're going to click on that. And then from there, we are doing the orientation, so we're going to click on the orientation lesson. From here, you'll see a page that lists everything that you need to do for the media orientation. Okay, so you'll see there's different tabs listed here, um, and you're actually going to start on the first tab, which is the introduction. You're going to go through, read the problem, the objectives, and then look through the Google slide presentation listed here. And when you're finished looking at the presentation, you can just click to go through. You're going to click on Take the Quiz. So what my recommendation would be is to right click on the quiz link and open link in a new tab. The reason why is you're, in, you're supposed to get 100% on these quizzes. So you want to make sure that you can actually go back and look at the different answers in the PowerPoint to do the quiz. Um, in order to take the quiz, you would just click on the button that says take the quiz. Notice um, you want to make sure that you're answering in complete sentences if necessary, if it asks you for that. Otherwise, it will um, grade you on correct spelling. So for instance, if you need to put in Miss Dunn's name or Miss Dupuy's name, make sure you spell it correctly and capitalize it correctly. Okay, once you finish on the introduction page, then you're going to go over to the overview, take some time to read that, and then you're going to go through the fiction page. From here, each of the pages will have a video that you need to watch, um, and this is Miss Dunn. She's going to give you an overview of the fiction section, and then just like you did before, you're going to have a quiz to complete. Again, right click on it, click link in open tab, and there you'll be able to take the fiction quiz. Again, I, you can go back to the video, there is no time limit, okay, so you can take as long as you need and look back at the answers in the video. Then you're going to work through the nonfiction, same thing, open up the quiz, complete it. For the find a book, you're actually going to pause for this activity, and we're going to do this on day two of our orientation. Um, you're going to need an iPad and a worksheet for this, so we're going to worry about this on day two. Don't worry about it yet. So skip number three, go over to number four for databases, again view, take the quiz, then five, which is PAC, the public access catalog, view, complete the quiz, okay, and then six and seven we are actually also going to do on day two. Um, this is where you're going to be setting up your um, school accounts. You have a student email this year that you can use. Um, it's integrated with Canvas, which is re really cool. So Miss Dunn or Mr. Pui is going to walk you through this. So pause on this one. And then same with seven. Seven gives you, you should be able to do this by yourselves, but Miss um, Dunn is going to talk to you a little bit more about that. Note, each of the quizzes are graded. This is a grade for your English 9 class. So you want to make sure you're doing them with accuracy. You're taking the time to watch the videos before you take the quiz. And you'll have some time to work on this over the next, uh, the two days of the orientation that you're going to do with English 9. If you have any questions, feel free to ask your English teacher or to ask Ms. Dunn or Ms. Dupuy as we work through this.